Hello everyone, Ben Sigma here and welcome back to my channel. In today's video tutorial, I'll be sharing with you another new awesome update on the iHello HFZ Signal 2 version 1.3. This version supports till iOS 17.5 on iPads and iOS 15 to 16.7.7 on CSS 2 x In this update, they've added compatibility checker which is basically to check if your device is supported or not. Also, there are minor updates like fixed skip setup, fixed OT update, fix fake reset, jailbreak upgraded, and a lot more. Before we dive into this video tutorial, I would like to say a big shout out to Code Tech, one of the best tech enthusiasts in the unlocking industry. You can check out and subscribe to his YouTube channel at Code Tech. I'll put a link in the description below. With that being said, let's get the video rolling. The link to download the tool is available in the description below. So once you click on the link, it's a mega link. So you just scroll down till you see the tool and download it. So once you download, it's in zip format. You just uh, unzip it and you are going to see the setup like this. So you just double click to install. You can also change the installation directory while during the installation process, just like you can see in the video, but I'll go with the default. So you just click install and then you wait for it to uh, complete the installation. All right, so you just click finish. You take this option to launch it if you want. All right, sure. So this is actually going to check for updates and you can see it says version 1.2, but it's actually going to update to version 1.3.1. That is the um, current version, which comes with uh, more um, bugs fix. All right, sure. So here we are with the version 1.3.1. That is um, the current version. So I already made several videos about this too, and I'm sure some of you are already familiar with it. So um, this version, like I said earlier, is having the checker. So it's going to check if your device is supported or not. So it says it's supported. So what you need to do is just copy the serial number. You contact me on Telegram for registration. It's a paid software. This is on a free tool. All right. So once you're done, click start jailbreak, and it's going to boot your device into recovery mode. Like I said, this software is compatible with iOS um, 17.5 on iPads and 15 to 16.7.7 from CSS to uh, X. So you just click on the start button. You follow the on-screen instructions to put the device into DFU mode. This is one of the most fastest tools that I've used. I've been using uh, for some time now because I've tried other uh, signal bypass tools on Windows and some of them seem to um, take a little bit time to activate the device. But this tool, uh, I think I prefer it over the rest. Yeah. It's very simple to use. And I'll be making, my next video is going to be about uh, this same tool. Uh, I think the OP menu. Uh, on, you are going to they, they have the open menu now and it's it's a very simple it doesn't require you to um back up any this thing and find pet file and all those things it's very simple i'll make a video about it i think that will be my next post or something like that all right sure so we we are here on the activation lock screen let me real quick um put the device back on the activation lock screen for you guys to see uh, that uh, it's still locked okay all right sure so here we are before you click on activate you can untick some of these options here it is not it's not going to harm your device you can choose uh, not to un uh, untick them, you can leave them. Just click activate and then wait for the magic. If you haven't subscribed yet, please consider smashing the subscribe button and also hit the bell icon um, for a future update. You can also leave a comment if you want. If you don't understand anything, you can leave a comment. I'll, um, I'll attend to you. All 
all right sure so the setup has been skipped straight to the home screen you can see uh the device is successfully uh, bypassed let's check if sim is working you can see the sim is also working uh the sim is working and uh let's see if the cellular data it's also working uh, you can sign in new uh, apple id and everything will work fine this device is already having a face id issue but that doesn't mean that if you bypass you have face id issue okay this device has a face id issue so that thanks for watching uh see you guys in my next video uh, until then peace out